us. Yeah, totally. Uh, cool. We're live yes. in your group. Okay, cool. So thank you, Chad. Thank you, Holly, for being here. My name is John. I think everyone in this group knows me probably, but cool. Well, uh, would you mind uh, introducing yourselves or maybe I can quick give you guys a quick introduction. So I was, um, I was in the ClickFunnels group and someone had a post like, I'm a coach. I need some help. Who should I hire? And in the comments, people were recommending different people and a bunch of people recommended you guys. It was like many people recommended you, like hire Holly and Chad, they're the best. And so of course I wanted to know what that was about. So I, I sent you guys a friend request and I kind of joined your group and I've been talking to you ever since, but that's, you came as a recommendation in, in a group of entrepreneurs who, who really know what they're talking about usually. The ClickFunnels group has people of various levels, but many times people really do know what they're talking about in the group. And so, uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for being here and for, for helping me out with this project. I'm really happy to, to know you. And I'd love to, if you guys could just tell more, a little bit more about your story, about what got you involved in coaching and helping coaches and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I'll do a quick background and then Holly will jump in or, and then we'll get to the point where we like kind of teamed up and met up. And then we'll kind of do a little bit of like what happened from there. We so, end up finishing each other's sentences quite a few times, so bear with us. Yeah, so um, real quick. So my name's Chad Oxted. Um from Michigan. Um, I was in sales and marketing. I was using the internet to market a company back in like 2005-ish. It was like super early in the internet world. But we would call like leads on the phone and then use the internet to like – warm people and do that stuff, which is really weird. It burnt me out really bad. I ended up quitting that uh, business. I ended up um, being basically depressed for two years after that. Um, didn't know what to do, was kind of wandering around. Um, and ended up getting a mentor, helped me pull out of all that crap. Um, ended up needing a job, so I started doing door-to-door -door sales. I did that for six years off and on. Um, and made good money, was running offices and all that stuff, which was awesome. Um, but it's not what I really wanted. Um, and I, I knew that using the internet to build businesses was a thing, because I was doing it like 10 years ago, but I knew people got way better things. And I was like, man, I really want to build my business from like the beach, right? Which is actually like, terrible, because you get sand in the Build, build the work. business from what? From the beach. Oh, right? okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a cool theory for the sand and the keyboards and keeping your computer alive. Sun your eyes. <laughs> the glare. I've tried it too. It doesn't work as well. No. Yeah, no, it just sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, you can be on your phone a little bit, but that's fine. Anyways, so I'm literally sitting in an office, sitting there listening to a guy making $80,000 a month running the sales office, and I literally go, I can't do this. I'm like, this guy works like 70 hours a week and he drives two hours one way to a job. And I'm like, I, I need to get out of this and I need to go launch my internet business. I ended up quitting that job. I was in a different state. So I launched my internet business from a hotel room and I ended up making enough money to get home, luckily. Um, six months later, I was able to make a good amount of money from that business. But then I... Um, I uh, was able to speak on stage for them in front of thousands of people, and then I went, but I, I wasn't really fulfilled with it anymore. Um, you know, offering things online is cool and making money that way, but making a deep impact was really where I was at. I was getting evolving and transforming, and I knew I wanted more. And so I, I started creating these events where we were doing mindset and marketing and wealth creation and that type of stuff, and then we did a retreat in the Dominican public that was ten thousand dollars and that was awesome but um it was super super hard <laughs> i probably have a little post-traumatic stress over putting together that event and uh handling all the logistics with that and i was like i need to manifest somebody that can help me actually run these businesses and be successful and uh four months later the most amazing Yay. girl shows up <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> a little background on me and then we'll talk a little bit about how we collaborated and uh, we really start to work with people who are in the transformational space and making an impact with people. Um, when I started, I was actually a vice president of a marketing company.
me. And I also did spiritual coaching on the side. I'm a very spiritual person. Um, it's a big part of just who I am, uh, just naturally. I'm sure everyone in the group can relate with that. And I ended up, absolutely, I was not one of those people that, like, I hate my job, I need to go do something else. Like, I truly loved what I did. Uh, it was fun, and I just loved the work. I was passionate about it. What ended up happening is I fell, and I dislocated my hip, and it caused something called CRPS. Where it then put me into the hospital. I wasn't able to walk. My legs, like, my nervous system went kaput, and my legs stopped working. Spinal blocks, uh, every other, way too much. Uh, didn't have a good reaction with that. The doctor told me I may never walk again. I couldn't do what I was doing, and it was probably a good time to start thinking about disability. And there was just like everything. We like, want to talk about resistance. I was like, no way, not going for it. That's not going to happen. Like this is not going to be my life. I knew that I was out to create more in my life, and that's really what started the whole process of how I build a business online. And that was back in 2013. And that's exactly what I did. I literally launched my business from the hospital bed. I started doing videos, um, getting really involved. I knew that I needed to learn how to use systems and I needed to learn how leverage worked so that as I was healing and working on myself, that my business would be working for me. And obviously, like, I'm, I'm not going to jump up right here because I'd probably not chat over and everything, but I'm fully walking. I'm fully Yay. walking. Yay! Yes. Um, I'm a very, I love yoga, I'm like very um, the healthiest I've ever been in my life, right? And I'm super grateful for that. And so meanwhile, I started building my business even further and further. I got, I've had so many incredible experiences. I took one year where I just lived on a cruise ship. I went on over 23 cruises that year, traveled all throughout the cruise. I was fortunate enough, as I was making these videos and sharing my journey, I attracted a lot of coaches, very high level coaches, million dollar coaches, who um, one of them in particular wanted me to be part of his team. So I came onto his team so I could learn, like I wanted to learn everything there was to learn about the coaching industry and what it really took to grow a multi million dollar business online. So I was his operations director. I ran the I was able to put all of the funnels in the system, the project management, everything. So when he said literally like, how long do I want a course? I want it launched by Monday. And it's like a Sunday night, right? <laughs> like that's what it was like. And so I got to learn uh, very effectively how to put this stuff together and create courses and programs in a way that was very mm -hmm. less. I also had the opportunity to consult over a funnel for Grant Cardone, because he was a platinum partner with Grant Cardone. Uh, okay. So there's been a lot of opportunities and it's been more than I ever thought was actually possible. I now think that is like there's way more not to ever put a cap on what were possible, like what's possible for us. So meeting Chad, I went through the ups and downs of entrepreneurship like we all do. I ended up going off on my own and uh, I was in, more in the affiliate marketing space for a bit and tested those waters on my own. And that's when Chad and I got together and um, we were very aligned on our mission and what we were out for. A huge on transformation because I've spent my life is transformation, right? I went from not being able to walk to like, look at me, let's go as fast as like, possible. And I really wanted to like, be that impact for other people to go out and be their most powerful selves. Because really that's where the ripple effect starts, right? When we can help you with our gift, then you can go out there. You're not just making more money, but you're also impacting the world. And that's what I'm sure. super excited and doing what we're doing. So we've evolved, like, I could go on and on how much we've evolved over the past couple of years together. But what I think okay. I will uh, just say quickly is we've evolved and just creating something that's so much bigger than like just us. Right, we're creating a team, we have a huge community, not a huge community yet, but a community of very popular people. Okay, okay. To make a difference in other people's world. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. Man. Can you about, what's that? A little bit about us. Okay, well, I have a couple more questions, but um, I'll just tell you I don't know, we've talked sometimes, but I'll just give you a quick background and kind of where my life is going, just for in case. Some of the people in the group as well don't know me that well. Um, 
So basically, I be, I was really normal for most of my life, and I had I didn't have any spiritual real inclination of showing, but I started to become interested in psychology when I was in high school. In college, I ended up majoring in psychology. I did really well. I was sort of like intuitive with psychology, like I just kind of understood it super well right right away. And in my last year of college, I realized I wanted to become a counselor. And I found like a role model in that space. And I was like, oh, I want to be like this guy. And one of my teachers told me that the qualities of the counselor themselves are at least as important, if not more important, than whatever techniques that they're using, right? And we had spent the whole year learning the techniques. But at that moment, I realized I need to like transform myself into the best person I can be, right? Like what you just said, like I need to develop the qualities. I need to increase my my degree of presence so that I can actually facilitate other people's healing. So I started doing that. I started going and learning NLP, hypnotherapy. I learned, I found a book on Buddhism that was what really clicked for me. And I ended up going to the bookstore. The, the book on Buddhism changed my mind so much. I started practicing it, but I started like, it was like I woke this part of me that was dormant up until then. I was like realizing what, what what magic exists beyond the surface like in life like there's so much available to us in every moment and that became my eyes became a little bit more open uh to that in that moment and so uh went to the bookstore bought lots of books on buddhism but other things too and uh through life getting in the way and fear and whatever i ended up putting a stop to that finding my way back towards a more like uh superficial career for me it was engineering and it wasn't resonating but i like went towards it because I thought I had to for financial reasons. I kind of closed my heart up. I was empty inside, no magic. And I, it took a year to kind of get that clue. And I kind of made my way back. I dropped out of engineering school and made my way back to counseling. I got a degree in uh, substance abuse counseling. I became a, a drug and alcohol counselor. And then through that job is where I found the Buddhist temple. I moved in there. I lived there for five years. I became a monk. I started teaching meditation classes. And I had like the best teachers in the world in, in that type of meditation. It was really great. Then I, I did so many retreats, workshops. I was receiving like 10 teachings a week on average. And I was teaching my own classes. And I eventually, um, I did a, a silent, solitary retreat for uh, five weeks. And moved to Florida and started uh, doing more retreats. And then I started, I became the main, they asked me to teach in Fort Myers. So I became the main teacher at a center in Fort Myers where I was teaching like eight classes a week and I was designing the program. I was, I was the main teacher. So they looked up to me as like the role model, you know, for, for that. So in the process, I had been already studying like how to teach really well, how to guide meditations really well. And I, I kind of honed my skill mostly at guiding meditations would be maybe how I would frame like my the, the main thing that I got from it was one how to show a good example to other people through my through my livelihood but also how to guide meditations in order to give someone an experience so um, by the end of a year of doing that my wish to start my own business had become very strong and I couldn't ignore it anymore so I was like I'm just gonna take what I'm doing and put it online and so that's how I started learning about marketing and all the other stuff. It's been two years since then, so I've learned a lot. I've helped other people with some of their Facebook advertising and building simple funnels and stuff, but um, I'm at a point, I've come back to the point now where it's like, I, I need to focus on my own coaching practice rather than helping people with marketing, which was cool, and I'm glad I had the experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of psychology involved, so it's a good thing, but for me, I'm like, the way I can help the world the most isn't as somebody's marketer, it's as a spiritual coach because that's where I've spent so many years and hours of my life devoted to that, to honing that skill. So anyway, that's where I'm at now. And um, yeah, I just, I wanted to ask you guys a couple follow-up questions about what you said. So, cause you kind of left us hanging. So you joined forces and now you have a community, but like, can you tell me a couple of the people that you've worked with and what has been their journey in working with you? Yeah. So I'll give you like three of our case studies real quick. So first one is Amber. She's a uh, life, health, and meditation coach. Um, she was an offline coach, had no clue how to do this online stuff to the point where 
she went to go nomadic and uh, like live on the road type thing and lost like 70% of her clients. Okay. And, um, and so she like her income just dropped through the ground. And um, Amber also had no tech skills whatsoever. Yeah. She was like a highlight. Like I have, I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm yeah. not like the whole tech skills are like grandma for sure. Yeah. With Amber, um, <laughs> have okay. no following at all. Yeah, okay. yeah, online no following really. Um, and so she came to us, and she first got our. Uh, at the time, we were selling a course. We don't really do that anymore. But now we we're all coaching. But then she came into our high level coaching program. She got in six weeks. Um, she was able to sign one hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars and sign contracts, um, and never created a funnel. Never had a website. Never had uh, anything like that. Wow! So there was through organic marketing, like organic outreach. Um, I think she spent maybe a few hundred dollars on Facebook ads, but like doing it in a very super simple way. Simple ads. Yeah. Okay. So she so did a little bit of advertising, organic, but no no funnel or website. Yeah. So she would just get on the phone with them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So that's another thing we taught her the enrollment process. So it didn't come off pushy or like salesy or anything like that. So then she was just enrolling clients. Uh, we actually uh, got her price up to $33,000 for the year. Um, so, yeah, so we helped her create a program where it had more value. Mm -hmm. so she was able to charge more. And something that we provide all of our clients is that framework of having very quality conversations that are very effective. Yeah. So, okay. so that was uh, one of our um, case studies. The next one would be a uh, uh, good one's Ryan. Um, Ryan uh, started from zero, never had a coaching program ever, but he was an expert at kind of what you're an expert at, which is drug and alcohol rehabilitation. Okay. Working in a home, uh, helping people that were going through recovery. Um, but he always wanted to, he saw a problem in the recovery space where in most recovery space, they basically say, you're a piece of crap, and as long as you can stay sober, then that's good enough. And you really like, you have to stay yep. identified as an addict the rest of your life. Yeah, it's a bad, they teach you some good and some bad things, but I agree with the whole identifying as an addict is it's a good reminder that you can't have one. I feel like that's a good reminder. They should remember, I can't have one, but they should also remember they are not an addict, right? Because then you say an addict, yeah? So, yeah, right. And so what he does is he helps people that have been five years sober uh, create a purpose in, his, in their life. And create a what? Create. create a purpose in their life. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah, but, but never had a coach. He actually, it's funny, we interviewed him, and he's like, I didn't even know online coaching could be a thing. Okay. Right. It's a thing. It's, it's a, a thing. It's totally a thing. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. we took him from zero to now he's done over, I think, over $25,000 in like 40 days. Well, that was the last wow. time we, we kind of talked to him. Um, but the crazy thing is, is he started with a $500 program. And so the way I taught him, or way we taught him, was um, that you sell out, you sell out your program at five people, and then you can double your prices. So he, he sold out five, four spots, and then we were talking to him like, "Dude, you need to up your prices. Like you're selling this too, it's too easy." And yeah. I'm like, "Okay, what do I do?" And I'm like, "Well, do one more for a five hundred, and then double your price up to a thousand, and then." go from there and he's like okay cool and he did that then he sold another five and then doubled it to two thousand and then he started doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching and wow. sold like four of those um and then i think as soon as he gets to five of those he'll double that to three thousand yeah. okay nice no funnel no crazy i think a lot of times people think they need all of this crazy stuff to get started and really what ends up happening is they take more time on the crazy stuff than just yeah really making an impact and a difference with people. I gotcha. Yeah. And and there's some people in the group that can relate to that. What's that? What's that? I said there's some people in the group that can relate to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with leverage and funnels and stuff, right? I that's like where it's that's my honestly that's my expertise is building funnels and creating leverage and systems. Okay. However, there's a time and a place for it, and you don't okay. need to do first things first. In fact, we encourage all of our clients to not do that first. Let's get some money in, like going and get you clients and seeing where your clients are at and then you know what's going to convert so when the time comes that it's time to do the leverage and it's time to do the funnels you know what's going to convert yeah yeah that makes sense for sure if you can um create sales and create a process like a client through calls and booking and doing what we teach on the the front like trying to take that and put it into an automated system or through a website that's gonna do some sort of magic and create some sort of um, video process or webinar or whatever is impossible. If you can't close, uh, um, you know, enroll clients in, through a very simple process, create, creating a complicated, complicated process. process is not going to increase the conversion. Right, because you have to know your you have to know your message, right? You have to know how to connect to them and the offer. Yeah, exactly. if you create a complicated system just to test those things that's uh, so much work and it oh may not work. so much work so much energy so much yeah. time it's a lot of work you're not actually in your genius of coaching that's what you guys are all out to do right is to go yeah. and be with people and help yeah. transform their lives you can't do that when you're behind the screen trying to figure out what's going to be your highest converting lead magnet and model and yeah right all that doesn't work <laughs> it's just a guess it's just a guess and it's a it's a completely different skill set. Yeah. Is where I'm finding. Like I've learned a little bit of both. Like I know some marketing stuff now, but you know, I've kind of like built some funnels and ads for other people. Like, but for myself, it is a 100% different state of mind that I have to use to do that. than I, than I'm in when I'm doing coaching, when I'm helping people. And I would just rather stay in that one where I'm, you know, where I'm the helper. Like that's, that's my, like you said, that's my zone. And the cool thing is if you, create your enrollment, your sales and enrollment process in a way that creates breakthroughs and builds amazing connection. And like people get super clear on their mission and their vision through your process. Yeah. And that's what you do. And it doesn't need to be super complicated. It's very simple. Okay. It's just creating a step-by-step journey for people to come through that's not uh, it, it's not automated at first and then we take that same journey and create it into an automated process later on after you're doing about you know five to ten k a month if you're not doing five to ten k a month really we don't, don't recommend to. funnels or systems or even a website you don't really need okay. you don't have one if you have one awesome you, you yeah know. cool that's good news yeah okay did you say you wanted to talk about three of your clients yeah. or just three? Um, yes. Yeah, so Seth was a client uh, or is a client um, and he is crushing it, right? So he is an intuitive coach. He works with executives to help okay. them create a legacy in their life. And, um, and so Seth came to us and he was running ads, but they were they're tanking. He couldn't even get leads from them, right? Oh. They were coming through and they were watching his video um for the ad but nobody was opting in nobody was doing anything the messaging was all wonky and um so we worked through all of that and we're working with him to set totally up shut down his ads yeah first. totally shut down the ads shut down your ads mm -hmm. stop using that funnel yeah stop using that funnel and um and so he got really clear on his messaging and who his perfect person is and all this stuff and he started putting out just test stuff just on Facebook, like testing ideas of like, who is like just trying to ask questions in a way that um, he could figure out what the messaging, what's gonna connect with people, who is his perfect people, all this stuff. I'm gonna intercept real quick because yeah. before uh, he joined us, he literally was like, this smashed to the desk. Like, <laughs> I've already done my foundation work. I know I've already done this perfect person. I've already done all of this. I've spent thousands of dollars doing this. I don't need to do this again, yeah. right? And we're like, okay, cool, you got that. And that part will just be super quick for you then. That's not the yeah. only thing that we do. <laughs> we'll just like rush through that part, no biggie. But he came in open. 
Yeah. Right. He came in open, like, okay, well, maybe there's something that I don't know. I don't know. So I'll be open through the process and follow the process. And yeah. being open like that, that's why he realized so how he really didn't know his message, how much his messaging was off and how he really didn't know his person. Like he thought he knew. Mm -hmm. And, um, so by knowing that, he went out there and just want to interject. No, no, that. Um, so right off the bat, he closed, a, uh, um, he enrolled a $3,000 one-on-one. He was actually mad that he only charged him $3,000 for coaching um, because, you know, he, he makes a huge impact for clients. He just, they weren't his higher-end uh, client. So $3,000, like, right off the bat, it was, like, three days into the program. Um, just from just a few modules that he'd gone through. So he'd like already been in profit of what our uh, program is, which is awesome. But then uh, I think it was like a week or so later, he's like, yeah, I um, somebody that had owed me a bunch of money that I was, did work with for a while, they owed me money. And um, I go, man, I don't know what's going on with what you got going on, like way, the way you've been being and what you've been posting and stuff, I want you to come back and do some work. We're going to pay you for what we owe you, and we're going to pay you for another three months. And this is a, you know, a consulting job. So it's good money. Um, it was $32,000 or $30,000. So it was like 35000 total for the, the basically six months, but he'd already done three months of it. Okay. So he, he ended up enrolling them and they're, yeah. So he basically got three months of work and he's getting paid $70,000 for it. And it's, pretty cool. yeah, part-time from home consulting that yeah, he, he can work on his. Never, if he hadn't been in our program, would he have been able to get that? Yeah. Why? Well, what was the relationship between your program and that sale? Um, it was the messaging and getting really honed in on that person and just what he was putting out there. We have something called the shotgun effect where you're essentially shooting off uh, um, a, a noise or a, uh, a thing that's going to, it's going to speak to that perfect person and then they're going to respond. And he was essentially shooting off that shotgun and they showed up. And it re-engaged, right? Yeah, re -engaged. They, were, they were disengaged from him. And uh, not only that, but also his confidence level, something that we work with that just mm. is a, a natural byproduct of our program is that everyone, just their confidence level in what they're doing, because it's simple, there's a framework involved to all of it, and it's like a step-by-step, -step. so naturally their confidence goes up, and you know that when your confidence is up and you're like very sure of who you're talking to and what you're saying and the result, then you get satisfaction that vibration is able to come. So I think between those two, uh, Seth has been amazing. I know he's got a lot of lot more clients in the, in the field. pipeline. In the pipeline right now. He's in Wakanda, uh, shooting some videos and where? Wakanda. So is that a real place? Yeah. So he's in South Africa. Yeah, it's in South Africa. So oh, I didn't know that's a real place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're like joking around with him on gifts this morning in our group. <laughs> He's like, I'm in Wakanda today. And it's like, Wakanda forever, yes. Right, right. That's funny. That's funny. Okay, cool. Well, uh, thank you uh, for sharing all that. And um, oh, yeah, no funnels there either. Or his tie skills are okay, but okay. not one of them used the funnel. Not one of them used paid ads. Not one of them really used the website in any way. Okay, cool. So it seems to be your thing is helping people without having to do anything fancy, just right away getting something, getting some money flow. Yes. Yeah. Is that cool. what people really want? <laughs> I yeah. think that's what most people want. Yeah, yeah. I do. And it, because it's all about how can we create, we want to essentially get you clients moving, get you money flowing, get you making five, ten thousand dollars a month in that yeah. range. And then you can we now start taking these concepts and what we've learned in this first process and then start putting that into systems. And then you can start creating lead magnets that are going to attract people and follow up automations. And if you want to learn chatbots, we can 
to that and webinars and all that stuff that's amazing but let's get you to 5 to 10k first that's pretty cool okay so if anyone is watching this and they want to work with you could they just email you or send you a message or yeah probably the best thing is like we have a very strict qualification process that we do um we just ask you some questions to see if it's a good fit because um we don't work with everybody it has to be and this is something that we can tell our clients is we have to be able to make a, a huge impact for you, right if if we can't impact you and what we teach then there's no point yeah if yeah. we don't and then we just created a rule, um, we, we took this from our mentor, is that we will not have a client that we wouldn't want to have dinner with. Cool. So if we invite you into our house and have dinner with you, then you're definitely not going to be a client. Yeah. And that literally has been why we have such an amazing community. Yeah. And it's powerful. We, it's very powerful. That's a good rule. That's a cool rule. Yeah. Is that from Russell? Is he your man? Mm -hmm. Is he the mentor? Uh, he was a mentor. We went through uh, through Common Cup coaching two years ago. No, yeah, year, year ago. Okay. Which, I don't know. Anyways, time like gets all wonky. Um, yeah, two years. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we we work with uh, a guy named Taki Moore. Uh, he only works with business coaches that are making twenty thousand dollars a month or higher. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. So people can send you a message, and if you're going to go out on a dinner date, then they'll be like, okay, here's how you reply. <laughs> yeah, we'll just ask them some questions to see if they're a good fit. If they're, if they're awesome, then we'll schedule a call, and we'll just have a chat and really just casually see if it's a good fit, see if we can make a difference in your life. If we vibe in a way that, um, like us, we're very casual people. If you're somebody that's sitting in a three-piece suit at home, at your computer, it might not be a good fit if you don't like people that just show up. We're wearing. totally cool wearing yoga pants all day. Like, yeah, right. T-shirt. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, I would love to have a conversation if you want to shoot uh, Chad or myself a message and just have a simple conversation. Like we want to hear okay. that you're up to in the world and see how we can empower yeah. you. Yeah, there's another thing. You have to be actively making an impact with people right you don't have to be have a already making a ton of money and if you are I, I i find that it goes faster and but if we can take you from even take you from zero of like going out and you're making a difference with clients but maybe it's for free yeah. it has to be you have to have had the, like a formula that's working with people oh, okay that's that yeah, it, we, we will not work with people that um, have no vision or mission of what they're doing in the world. They don't have any skills. We don't, like, if you don't have, like, access to some sort of skill set, um, then it doesn't work, right? We're not taking newbies and trying to give them something to go do. We're I see. taking experts and people that are making a difference. And yeah and empowering them to get their message out there. I see. It's kind of like they already have a sword, but you teach them how to use it. Or, you yeah, know, they, they already know how to help people, and you're just helping them with the business side. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Cool. This, these, these set of people are the people that we need to empower and get their message out there. Just most of you guys authentically suck at marketing. I said suck. You told me not to. No, it's okay. You can say it. All right, exactly. That's true. I'm just true. <laughs> it's marketing's its own skill. Marketing is all, its own completely dynamic kind of skill set that has to be acquired through learning and practice. Yep. Yeah. And and that's totally have, cool. And we we t like like Ryan. He had no sales experience. He had no um, set marketing experience. He had no nothing. The only thing he had was he was in the world of people and really knew how to plug in what he did to our systems. Okay, nice. Well, okay, so I just want to make the last invitation for people to message you if they want to learn more. But then, if you don't mind, can we transition and maybe if you have a couple minutes to talk about um, any ways that people can just start getting the message out there a little bit now? Like, yeah. Like, 
Like, how, like should people be messaging other people? Or what, what can they do now? I don't recommend a cold message anybody. We definitely don't teach that. And there are places that do teach that. I don't recommend it at all. We okay. recommend you it's to- It's kind of awkward. Super awkward. I don't know you. Like... Yeah, it, it can be for sure. Yeah. But so what, what do you guys do? So what we recommend is to find where your people are hanging out, right? So where are your people? Um, you know, so in your case, you work with like these people, right? Um, but like where are some other places, right? You know, um, there's a health education network or something like that group. Um, those there's might be your people too. Enlightenment group. Yeah. Those could be yeah. Those. For me, Mind Valley is a good one. Yeah, that's Dr. Joe, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Mm -hmm. Those are so many groups that I like, that my people are hanging out. There yeah. you go. We like those groups too. So yeah. now take and ask prov thought provoking questions in a way to create conversation. But like yeah. you can go, your people are going to now reach out to you and say, hey, I like this guy. I want to know more about what he has going on. And if it, it, we don't have time to really go into our whole qualifying process, but if you, there's a set of questions that we help people create that can bridge them from, hey, this person's cool, to, hey, I want to work with you. Okay. And how do you qualify them to see if they're a good fit and how to bridge them and get them to actually come over and message you, friend requests and message you, and then how do you communicate and bring them into your community like you got going on here and how do you go from there yeah cool because i mean this this community that i have here is 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 not really the kind of person that i work with my own, own practice I, ha I just i'm more of like a direct spiritual coach for people who want to make actual spiritual progress yeah and spiritual guru. that's and like as that person i'm one of the people in this group and but yeah yeah, yeah, I actually want to honor you for what you've put together in this group and how that collaboration of people who are really out to make a difference in people's world and how you're coming together to yeah. each other too, I think is awesome. Yeah, super awesome. You. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, let's do real quick, just show you kind of our model and we can kind of okay. break it down a little bit of that. Um, we see the thing authentically. Um, you know, everyone is at a different place in their journey. Yeah. Something that you may need totally different than something that Carla may need in her journey. Um, or, I don't know how to say your name, but Mar Mar Marky. Mar you know, okay. Completely different at hers. So, what we yeah. have is this is our entire model of uh, everything that we do and teach. And we call this the quantum impact model. So, okay. you guys are all out really Get that money. We're, right. Uh, what we're all out to do is really create abundance in our life, right? Yes. Yes. Give me some abundance. All about the abundance. And what it's going to take for you to really truly have a life of abundance is not only impact, but it's also freedom, right? You know, in your life, to be able to yeah. put your life the way that you want to have it. Uh, it's going to take, uh, right? Yeah. And it's also going to take impact. If you don't have one without the other, it's not real abundance. So we've come down to the conclusion that you need freedom, income, and impact in order to really have a life of purpose. And in order to have, in order to have that, it's going to take three things. You're going to have to learn how to attract people to you. You're going to have to learn how to enroll attract those people and there's there's going to be some sort of transformation that happens track and roll transformation got it okay yep makes sense so um to even go a little bit deeper in that in order to really attract people in you or to you online yeah Okay, so you need to be able to have your messaging. Okay. Very clear on your messaging and what you're putting out there to be able to attract people to you. Are you good with me just Yeah, just rock it. Um, you need 
your tribe, right? You're building your tribe. You're really bringing your world and start building your audience and building your tribe. Okay. And a way to be able to do that is to have really, we call it, we like to call it FBI content. What is it? So we call it FBI content, right? We told you we're really back. F FBI concept? Content. Sorry, I have. Content. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So content, right. content that you're putting out there is very engaging and people are seeing it and they're like, wow, F yeah, this is awesome. Like, who is this person writing? I yeah. want to know them. So there's content that brings new people in that have no clue there's essentially three types of content like new con new people in the door and then there's content that overcome objections and build like deep rapport with people and then there's the uh like enrollment or the content that actually is going to be called action based that is going to get them on the phone with you they're going to it's going to get them to sell most people make the mistake of doing either the first content that brings new people in or the last content that sells something and then they yeah. the, the complete the middle the enrollment the so miss objection content is that part of what russell calls indoctrination uh yeah Probably. yeah yep so okay. what do you do to see like where are you on this? Is this something like which one of these do you need but most? We like to use like a red, yellow, green scale. Red meaning you're like you're totally stopped. You're messaging. Are you at a place? Are people? Um, are you hearing crickets on your wall? Are people just not like they're not coming to you? They're not getting any people messaging you, wanting more info. Um, it could be that your messaging is off. So you want to kind of rate yourself as we go through these. Like, are you a red, are you a yellow, or are you a green? Yeah, green being like, your, when you put something out there, it like deeply penetrates your perfect client and attracts that perfect client and then kind of repels the people that you don't want. So that's, just, that's the best content will really build deep rapport, overcome objections, and then get people to jump on calls with you. And, and so green would be like, you have the best content ever, and it does all three of those things. Yeah, and oh. yellow would be like, eh, it's all right. Yeah. Like I get that sometimes, but it, it could probably be better. Yeah. Right. Are you, are you saying that one piece of content should have all three pieces? No, I'm saying that overall. Okay, okay. It's a yeah. picture of your okay. Yeah, or messaging, not really content, but just messaging in general. Okay. And so you can do the red, yellow, and we're going to go through this quickly because we've already gone through a little bit. Yeah. Um, we can we have a training that goes deeper into this, but just okay. for you guys watching the replay of this, like you know, give yourself a quick you know red, yellow, green on all of these. So your tribe, do you have a tribe of people? Do you already have an audience, or are you like nope? Yeah. Nobody knows me. I have no following whatsoever. Um, yeah. Uh, or are you in between? You're like, I kind of do. Uh, it definitely could be better, right? Then then give yourself a yellow there. And same thing. I'm just gonna do the quick version. For sure. sure. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. Same thing with the your FBI content too. Like, is your content very really responsive? Is it? Do you have a flow to it? Is there like a there is a rhyme and reason as Chad was saying to content, and we actually have a framework for content creation as well on what types of content put where and when throughout the whole week mm -hmm. that we have in our program for our clients. So the next piece, um, and again, I'm whizzing through this because I, I want to be mindful of everybody's time. Sure, sure. Rate yourself, yellow, red, or green, on which one you're using that, and just kind of put that in the back of your mind, like, okay, tribe, I need to really focus on my audience. I really need to focus on my messaging. And so this is going to allow you for you personally, no matter who it is that you are and where it is in your journey, where you need to uh, really put your focus to get to the next level in your coaching. So the enrollment, what that takes is really first having a signature offer. Like it's no secret that the coaching industry online is growing every day. And there's a lot of coaches that are, um, that are getting out there. They're like me too coaches. Like, Oh, you help people with this? Me too. And it's like, it's literally like becoming a cookie cutter of like, and a lot of it is like, it's really just so generic. 
like I can help with depression, I can help with anxiety, and I can help with weight loss, and I can help with your hemorrhoids too. You know, <laughs> I can do it all. The yeah, is your sad. dog too sad? I'll help your dog to overcome depression. <laughs> yeah, if your dog's sad, I got that too. Got it. <laughs> what we do is we work with our clients to create a signature program that is unique from everything else out there. And okay. the benefits of having a signature program, that's funny, we drink some gallons too. Uh, the benefits of signature Go check it out. Do you see what's inside here? Oh, it's like a Greens. green thing. It's special water. Yeah. Right. Um, so the benefits of having a signature program is you're able to pack more value. You're able to create leverage uh, in, your, in, your, in your program where competition isn't even a thing. Sure, sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Break yourself quick. What are what is that? Do you have a program? Are you stopped? Like not sure how to put a program together? Maybe you're putting like doing per session. Um, then give yourself a red there. And if you have like totally cool, you have a three month program or a year program, and it's got all sorts of different offers and stuff in it, then give yourself a green. And if you're in between, give yourself a yellow. Okay. So the next piece here is being able to have converting conversations so what this means is before you ever get on the phone with someone and as you're talking to people whether it be in like messenger and groups um and email and, email, and, uh, and if LinkedIn. you have a chat up, linkedin all of these places you're always having conversations with people everything that we ever want in our life is in a conversation right so the most powerful uh skill that you have is to communicate and have effective conversations with people. So this is a big one. Um, this is where a lot of our screen sharing is possible. Oh, okay. yeah. um, so this is a big one and we always want you, when you're on the phone, we wanna make sure that it's very uh, qualified conversations. I know there's a lot of people out there that like, oh, get on the phone call, have a breakthrough session, and there's people giving away free breakthrough sessions, free coaching, or getting on the phone for these discovery calls that last like an hour or so, which I totally blows my mind. If you have good converting conversations before you get on the phone with people, you can get on the phone like in and out and qualify them in about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes tops, right? So okay. real quick on this, like what does that look like for you? Are you pretty strong in your communication and having conversations? Are you like, your conversation is awkward and aren't really going anywhere or are you on live well, you're not doing them at all right you're just let's get on the phone yeah right if you're sending out links without qualifying people to get, to get on a call with you you're setting yourself up for failure yeah and a lot of wasted time yeah a lot to of wasted time to be totally honest um, okay and uh I, I don't know if you remember or not but i i asked you we had this converting conversation before we ever booked our first call. Did we? Yes. Uh, tell me again. Um, the, you'll have to go back in your messages to get all of the questions, but I, it was like, who do you serve? What do you, um, what do you do for your clients? You'll have to go back and maybe you're like, oh, okay. Because it was our converting conversation piece. So. Oh, well, I guess it worked. And the thing <laughs> is, is the thing is, is it's, it's, it's custom to each yes. or each person too. Like if you looked at ours, you might be able to recreate it and use it for you. But it's better just to have us walk you through creating your own, yeah. so that it, it's it's kind of um essentially custom for everybody. It's like, hey, is this what you think of this? Yep. So the last piece of the enrolling is to have the con um, client conversions. Right, you can have conversations all day, but once you get them on the phone, what do you say? Do you have a framework? Like. How are you actually bringing them through and having them sell themselves on why they need to be a part of your program? Which is big, right? If you're always out there trying to sell your program, then it can come across very, and I'm sure there's people here that have experienced this where they're like, they get a little caught up on the sales process and selling and the, like, I don't want to sell so them pushy. Pushy. all pushy. So how do you have very natural <laughs> conversations with people that actually gives them a lot of clarity? Uh, that's one thing we hear all the time is, you know, we, and we ask, what did you get from this? It's a ton of clarity, right? And so that's big when you can have a conversation very focused and 
structured with flow that gives them a result at the same time. So that's what we work with our clients to be able to do. So if you have that already, cool, awesome. Give Are you a saying, hold on, I think I misunderstood. So you're saying that this is when someone, ha they haven't quite become your client yet, or maybe they just did become your client? No, it's before they become a client, it's before. all that we have to make sure that they're a good fit. It makes sure that, um, that we actually like them, right? And they like us. And we, okay. it's like, it's basically getting them to tell us why they want to be in our program and why we should help them, essentially. Okay, gotcha. This is that call um, after you've had the converting conversation. Then it's a, let's get on the phone and see if we're a good fit. Okay, how does that phone call go, right? And how does that turn into clients? So that's the, the parts of the enrolling process. So just rate yourself real quick, looking at these, like what area do you personally need the most focus on, right? And if you're seeing where there may be multiple, then reach out to either one of us and let's have a conversation and see if there's a, a you know, we'll just have a conversation and see if it's a fit or if it's not a fit. And if it's not, we always do our best to guide you in a place that would fit be a good fit for you. Right? Gotcha. So this third, real quick, is the transformation piece. And um, the transformation piece in title, like first, we, we work on, um, we want you to be a time ninja, right? If you're out to do big things and impact a lot of people and uh, build a, a massive coaching business, you've got to be a master of your time and not let time be a master of you. Yeah, and a part of that is integrity. Do you show up on time? Are you setting boundaries to keep people from invading your time? Are you like, how, how well are you at actually getting things done in a time block? So that's cool. something that we work with, and you, know, you can write yourself again the red, yellow, green thing, um, and where you're at. Does the concept of group versus individual coaching fit into this? Because uh, if I want to, if I want to be a time ninja, I'd rather work with people in groups rather than one on one. What do you think? Absolutely. So um, that's definitely part of it. It, it kind of, you can see things that like they kind of rub together, right? Okay. Yeah program is going to be mostly group. Um, that's at least what we teach. Uh, okay. A lot of people, when they're coming in, if they're doing one-on-one, -on -one, they're like just feeling things out and getting their messaging honed in and sure. a couple one-on-one -on -one clients. But most sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. So the second piece is the breakthrough piece. Like, uh, how, how, like, you know, all of, everyone that we work with is powerful, but everyone also is human. And being that human factor, we all have uh, these things that sometimes hold us back yeah. of getting out there, being confident. What I found in a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs is not the like bragging, but the like sharing their accomplishments so that people really see them as an authority. I know we have this, as we as, because you know, I'm a very spiritual person too, the, the humble and, you know, not go out there and say that bragging. And right? so there's things that, we all tell ourselves these stories on that could hold us back. And uh, part of our program in what we do and work with our clients is to make sure that you tear those down and you are absolutely unstoppable. Gotcha. Right. And then awesome. the, the third piece, which is one of my favorites, is the leverage piece. So, yes, that is the group. So, that's another I wanted to star the time ninja, the signature, and the leverage all together. And we put this in the transformation because. Having leverage in your life takes a mind shift. A lot of people, they're accustomed to the nine to five, they're accustomed to one-on-one -on -one sessions or the per sessions and being able to leverage your time using systems and having processes in place that's effective can be a, a transformation and a mind shift for people. So cool. um, you know, as you're going through these, what area are you red in? What area are you yellow in, right? Do you have any leverage in your life? Are you you know, going through doing it all yourself, um, or are you a breakthrough? So rate yourself, and again, if you see areas where you're red and have a lot of yellow, or a lot of like, yeah, I could really use an improvement in this area. You know, reach out to Chad and I; we'd be happy to have that conversation. Cool. So I just want to say real quick, like the the thing that I'm putting together for this group is the ebook, as you guys know, and 
uh, video kind of thing in order to, to break even on advertising. And so, but what I'm giving, what I'm providing to all the other wellness experts in this group is at this stage, basically a lead generation tool. Yeah. And, they're, and they're still, even with leads, they're still going to have to figure out how to do all this stuff. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. If they, you know, um, I think that the group, what you mentioned about the mindset shift in order to create leverage, that's, that's the main reason I wanted to have this, this particular group is because I knew that even if the system works, even if this lead generation tool worked really well, without a change in mindset, they wouldn't feel the, the impact of that. So I feel like, yeah, I'm thinking in a similar way and uh, having, for me, the, the, what out of everything that you have on this, the things that seem the most important to me, and I'm, I'm coming from my own place of subjective experience, but the signature program and the messaging are really important to figure out. And they're quite, um, it's a quite a, a, a subtle kind of skill, I feel like, to, to identify those in a really cool way. Like what you said, like, so that there's no competition. It's a very unique program, having understood their marketplace. That's something that takes quite a bit of skill in my perspective yeah. to identify. Uh, being a time ninja and leveraging is also really cool. And also, um, what you said about breakthrough, I, I'm at a place now, like myself, where it's like, it's so hard to market for myself, even though I understand some of these things. It's so hard to do it for ourselves, And I'm thinking like, yeah, like having someone walk us through our own so that we can actually have breakthroughs. I just, I just got done with a meeting with someone today and um, I may start helping her with Facebook ads, but um, she, she's been to courses, you know, she's has systems like she, she kind of like, has learned a bunch of stuff, but it's so hard to apply it sometimes because it requires breakthroughs. Like I would say a couple little things to her and she, I could, she would even tell me like, you're taking me out of my comfort zone. This is good. Like she feels it, but we still need someone to hold our hand and walk us through those things sometimes. So if your program helps with helps to do that, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We have, um, like Holly was uh, certified in belief therapy, like in the early 2000s. So she hits people that way. Um, we both have NLP um, skills that we use. We've gone through a lot of ontological work um, through Landmark um, and like high level stuff there. Um, we, when we were, when Holly was, uh, we didn't even get into this, but she had a burnout and was having seizures and all this stuff. And we were looking into uh, everything, right? So neuro, um, uh, you know, um, uh, the, the, yeah, Nat, neuro -emotional yeah, neuro-emotional technique. technique. We've been equipped okay. with uh, EFT, we're equipped with that. Um, yeah, happened. Cool. Yeah. So we literally with our backgrounds could go out and coach, be coaches. However, we have a very strong backward background in sales and marketing. So if we can take that and work with coaches so they can go out, like that's a critical effect for us, like I was saying earlier, that that's why we do what we do. Okay. Sweet. And that, it, that through. So that's part of our signature program. Right? There's a lot of marketing coaches out there, but they don't work on the breakthrough stuff. Yep. And you can have all the strategies in the world and still need the breakthrough stuff. Right. No, uh, yeah, of course, we need that. Yeah. Okay, sure. well, thank you guys for being here and for sharing all of this today. And um, I look forward to getting more tips from you as, as this project evolves. Um, and we have like an ebook and we got some things. So I'm going to reach out and say, hey, uh, what do you think I should do? And Let's do it. Uh, and, and yeah, feel free to, to share tips. And I hope other people in the group reach out and ask you questions because uh, you guys have a lot of experience that, you know, you know, far beyond mine in the marketing field. So cool. that's so cool. Yep. Cool. Feel free to reach out and we're a stand for you and we're a stand for everybody in this group to really be this project to go very successful. And then okay. it gets into a lot of people's hands because I know that there's a lot of good value in this group and what people are offering out here. So we're a stand for you for that. Uh, and everyone yeah. else, let's just have a conversation and I'd love to hear what you're going to do. So yeah. thank you for having us. This has been amazing. Thank and, you. Yeah, you're welcome.
Yeah, yeah, if anyone, um, yeah, if anyone's still watching this and when you watch the replay, there's only a short period of time left before you have to get in your material to me. So I hope that this week and next week you're really working on it. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Holly, are you going to be contributing to that? Uh, you know, I've been looking at my schedule. It's been on my heart to do. And yeah. I feel like if I, 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 I hate to use the time, you know, as time ninjas here, make sure that what I do is very effective. And okay. so I'll, I'll get back with you on that. Let me know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Is there anything last words that you guys want to say before we close? No, I think it's just best thing to do. Let's just connect and see if there's anything we can do to help, right? Like, even if we can point you to our free community or we have tons of like um, free resources, right? Um, and so okay. if you're not ready to jump on a call, just reach out. Let's be friends and, uh, and see if we can help in any way. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you guys so much for all your help and for being here. I look forward to working with you. Appreciate you, man. See you later.